on this episode of Lone Stars, Big Mo Goes Bananas. Ooh, wee Big Mo. Welcome to the Lone Stars, guys and gals. As you can see, we're cutting these down today. I thought some of you might want to see the process of cutting down these uh, banana plants. Not all of you have these things where you're at. I know that, uh, I know that Doc, over there at DLT Lawn Care, he was wanting to uh, see me cut down these things. They're really weird. They're like, uh, if you don't know, they're like kind of like aloe vera or something. They're just full of water, or, you know, and they're easy to cut down. Even these big ones, I mean, you will see here in a second how it's like a hot knife cutting through butter, basically. Uh, I just use that little saw here and uh i thought i'd try the machete today and uh just for poops and giggles see what it did i don't know if it'll work at all but i usually just use the saw but uh so let's try to do that let's try to uh to cut these things down so come on Just cut them down to the to the ground here, pretty close. They're the wobbly. Uh, when they start dying off like this. Now these are actual banana plants. I mean they would grow, they do grow uh, bananas. Sometimes you'll see little bunches of bananas up in them. But they just uh, around here it just doesn't stay warm long enough. If it stayed warm longer here, these would keep growing bigger and bigger and they would grow bananas on them, but they don't here except for little bitty ones. But you'll see this is pretty big around, you know. See my hand against it, how big around that is. They get bigger than that, but uh, you'll see how easy this goes. And done. <laughs> pretty quick. Uh, the thing about them is though, is that they're very, bigger they get like those down there they're heavy because they're full of water and as you see this dripping out you will get soaked carrying these things so that is the drawback of doing these and uh load these up and uh get them ready to take to the dump but i'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and time lapse this thing and let you see some of this stuff well hold on before I let you go, let's see what this does. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was uh, pretty effective. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Let's do it.
Well, that got them all cut down. Still got to carry a bunch of them. My gloves, if you're wondering, are soaking wet with banana plant juice. And if you're wondering, no, doesn't smell like bananas. But JR was kind enough to find this for us out of some of that mess. And you can see the, uh, the little beginnings of a bananas. You got this thing. I guess it's a, I don't know what that is, to be honest. I'll have to look that up and put it on the screen. But, uh, yeah, these uh, little bananas. I told you they grew little bananas. And these would grow into big bananas if it just stayed warm a little longer. Uh, some other stuff I'm going to tell you about this while uh, JR uh, brings that up through there. They, uh, much like a banana, you know how if you have a banana and you <clears throat> bruise it or whatever and you, they turn brown, you know. Well, much like uh, their fruit that grows on it, these, as soon as you cut them, they start uh, doing this thing. They start turning brown really quick. You could probably see it on the ends of the ones that JR just took up through there. Uh, yeah, they just start uh, deteriorating, I guess you'd say. Um, yeah, we got them all down, I think. I think that's all. I think that's all of them. Um, I think they wanted us to cut this down, but I don't have uh, really the means to do it. You know, they're just going to have to get somebody else to come out here. I don't even own a chainsaw. Uh, but that's pretty solid up there. You can't really, we tried pulling it loose and it's still pretty solid. Something I don't want to fool with. Um, but yeah, like I said, get, you just get you one of those uh, saws like this. If you ever see a banana plant you want to cut down. <laughs> or uh, today I learned a new tool and that's the jutted machete uh heck yeah man i think i used it way more than i used the uh, saw sometimes these things these things weren't that big this year uh this is probably the biggest one one of these is probably the biggest one that you could say in comparison with my hand it's the biggest one this year but they can vary we've had them here at the same spot and they were probably maybe 10 to bigger inches across, you know. So it just varies from year to year. Uh, here we cut them down to the ground basically like that. And they just grow back, grow back all tall like that the next year. So uh, if you're wondering why we're not cutting these, uh, pompous, pompous grass around here today. That, I'm saving that for another day. We'll come out here uh, and I'll tell you why. Is because I'm going to show you on a future video how when you cut this stuff down, believe it or not, you don't have to haul it off. You can cut it up with a mower. Just mulch it up. It will mulch up. I know it's crazy. You want to wear a mask? We'll talk. Well, we'll talk about it on the next one. But yeah, we'll get these later. Uh, didn't have room for, as you could see on the trailer, I didn't have room for a mower. Uh, or I might have done that today along with this. But I'll come out here another day and get those. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you for hanging out with us on this glorious day. And uh, please join us again next time. Love every one of you. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, like I said, Big Mo signing off.